Star Wars. It's been a topic that's uh, quite contentious over the course of the past few months. And as we, we, we now have The Last Jedi on home video and people are watching it and they're realizing that the deleted scenes are not very good and you can see why they were cut from the film. Uh, and as you wonder why other things were cut from the film that probably could have made the movie better, you know, whatever. We, we look forward to the future, right? We've got Solo coming out in less than two months, and then in a year and a half, we have got ourselves, uh, well, a little more than a year and a half. It's going to be Episode Nine, And one of the biggest things that was missing out of Star Wars Episode Eight was the, the Rey and the Finn dynamic, right? And I think that's true. I think that's fair. Well, considering that we went into this particular uh, new world, this new franchise, this new trilogy, with, uh, with them being the two key characters. And the fact that they had good chemistry in Force Awakens, they played off each other very well. It was a lot more fun, a lot more engaging to have them separated throughout the 99% of uh, the, the Last Jedi was something that felt very weird. And it was actually not something I quite thought about until I, I read the articles that have been popping out all week talking about uh, what to expect out of Episode Nine with Rey and Finn together. Because uh, they're going to be spending uh, most of the time together. Uh, we'll be together for most of Episode 9 is kind of what we're hearing right now. This is coming out of uh, John Boyega himself when he was at uh, Action Con over the weekend where he was, uh, or some, some festival over the weekend, where he was talking about, uh, you know, the, what to expect from Episode 9. And he says he hasn't read the script yet, but he got a text from Daisy Ridley saying, oh my God, we're together again. And making, you know, and that that actually makes me feel pretty good that, that they're starting to course correct slightly, because if they are going to bring them together and they are going to make them um, clearly more uh, of a cohesive unit for the for the movie, for the third and final part of this trilogy, I think it will do a lot to kind of maybe bring back some of the fans from Force Awakens who felt left out in the cold uh, from The Last Jedi. Now, other people out there may may entirely disagree, but let me ask you this. I mean, just, let me just kind of po posit this question. Would you prefer to see, uh, you know, Finn and Ray or Finn and Rose, right? And I, there are people out there that loved Kelly Tran as 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 Rose, and they love the character, and I guess bless them for that, right? But uh, when it comes to like, I think the fun of, of the franchise, you want there to be. Uh, Finn and and Ray together, uh, and maybe tossing in a little bit of a little bit of Poe for good measure because we know that they are going to be establishing uh, some kind of love triangle that that was clearly introduced at the end of the Last Jedi when Ray and Poe met for the first time. Which here's here's something funny. If you read the novelization of the Force Awakens, uh, uh, Ray and Poe met actually at the end of the book when they were all back at the Resistance base together. Yeah. Right. Because I remember when uh, when uh, I talked about that, I had said, like, wait, they'd already met like uh, they, they they must have met at the end of the first movie that it makes logically no sense that they'd all return to the same place. Uh, her and Finn, you know, her and her, or her with Chewie carrying Finn, who's injured Finn and Poe being friends, uh, Finn obviously carrying or Poe obviously carrying. There would have been some dynamic of like, oh, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And that would have been it. But the fact that that didn't happen on screen and then they held it to the end of the next movie is just, it, it just, man, just, just poor storytelling. Just, yeah. But bringing them back together for this particular thing, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. Because I feel like that is a solid dynamic that's going to come back together. Because it'd be like separating Han and Chewie for an entire movie. I know it's an odd comparison. Or C-3PO and R2-D2 for like an entire movie. Well, they were, okay, Empire, they were separated and whatnot, but, you know, it's the Han Chewie thing, I think, is more accurate. If they were separated for a while, people would start to notice the difference. The dynamic wouldn't quite be the same, and I think we're going to get a bit of that here. So I do hope to see uh, more from uh, Finn and Ray in Episode 9, and I think I think we will. I think we're going to get a good show out of it, um, and I hope that uh, I hope they don't let us down. And I, I, I'm starting to feel like with this particular move, it is definitely a step in the right direction.